I don't know how to beat this thing. I don't know what even even know what it is. Mud bomb again. Oh my god, that's super effective. This is it. This is the end of the lock. This is it. I'm dying. Yo, what's going on everybody? Episode 11 and we ended episode 10. We were just about to start a battle with e Sween or XX Screen. We just saw Sweet Corn and Sweet Corn ran away. And then we came to fight. Well, we, I wanted to go for the gym, is what I wanted to do, but um, Sweet Corn wants to fight us, so there we go. We're, having, we're in a fight with Sweet Corn. And he's gone in with Nuzleaf to start off with. After this, we're going to go down to the gym, we're going to get the medicine, and then go back to uh, um, Olivine Town. And there's another gym there. Whether we'll get that all done in this episode, that's a different question. But it would be very nice. Can't use the same move twice in a row because of Torment. Well, that sucks absolute dong. So let's go for Brine. Nature Power turns into Earthquake. Oh, no! This is a bad way to start. Oh, my days. Shat me pants, man. Oh, my God. Don't do that to me. Well, now I don't know what to flipping do. Right, let's get Shatot out of there. I didn't even get a chance to heal up my Porygon because I went straight up, thought the Pokemon Center was up there, ran into Sweet Corn, Sweet Corn, and then Eastwing came and East, East, East Qu Queen came and decided they were going to fight me. But I have got time. Its nature power keeps turning to Earthquake. Earthquake doesn't affect Shat, which is why I sent it out there. So let's get the Sing down. You're a grass type, so I should just be able to peck you to death. Even though I'm a vastly lower level, I think I can destroy you. And hopefully... Oh yeah, one more of them. As long as he doesn't heal up. He wakes up, nature power, don't care, earthquake, not bothered, not interested. See you later, bye, peck. Yeah, buddy! Oof, yes, good stuff. Uh, next we have Wingo, flying, water. Mm, uh, Kenya. In with just hoping that it hasn't got a powerful water move. Ah, oh, a bit risky. Similar level. Right, ancient power. It's a flying type, so it's gonna. This is gonna be effective. Ah, oh, down it goes. Okay. No, no need to even worry. Why am I even worrying? No reason. No reason at all. 553 experience. Good, good, good. Ariados, you are, what, bug poison maybe? Seems seems reasonable. Poison dark. Bug dark. No, nah, you're something poison. Uh, which tells me that glazed is going to be a good option here. How many has this guy got left? Right, this is his last one, Ariados. So... That's fine, because we can smash it with an Icy Wind. Might take a couple, but I'm sure that's going to do the trick. Oh yeah, one more of them. One more of them with a high roll, and I think we're looking good. Nightshade! No, 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 no. That's good. I'm fine with that. An Icy Wind to finish you off. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Mr. An Antoinette. You're amazing, Saint. I know. I'm starting to understand why Sweetcorn was keeping an eye on you. I'm going to keep searching for Sweetcorn. I have a feeling we see each other again. See you around. Bye! Secret item up here, anyone? Seems like a reasonable place for them to be one. There isn't. There are rocks to rock smash here, though, and I bet some of those have items in. However, I don't have rock smash. Also, let's talk about how amazing this background music is. I don't remember the last time someone came to visit me. When I was young, I was Pokemon trainer too. I tried to reach the tower and dive into the ocean. I put a lot of effort in there. Great, thanks. So you have nothing for me, is what you're saying. 
This guy. Boulders to the north of town can be crushed. I'm not doing that. This is the house of Cameron the photographer. No, I'm not taking a snapshot. Right, first things first then. Before we get into anything where I could get another battle. Because not what I want. Let's heal up. Oh, that's the gym guy. Stood right there. What's up, gym guy? Why aren't you at the gym? Guy. Hmm. Strange. We're going to talk to him in a sec. Have you met the maniac? He's always bragging about his rare Pokemon. Can't help showing off Pokemon you have. Don't you agree? I have a mental friend who lives in... Pokemon at his gym are all rough and... Let me give you a piece of advice. A gym will use fighting type Pokemon. You can try to fall with psychic type or simply defeat them. Blah, 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 blah. So well, that's good because... I've just got... Porygon, who is a normal type, but with a psychic type move, which means it's very weak to the fighting type Pokemon, but it's also super, going to be super effective against it. Does that make sense? I'd love to show mine to a friend of mine who lives in Violet. I don't know what that means. There must be something, something there that I'm not getting. Now, there is a guy, if I remember rightly. Oh, do I have to beat the gym leader before I get the medicine, or can I get it now? You need medicine? Your Pokemon appears to be fine. The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. Got it. There you go. Nice one. So I've got the secret potion. Sick. Only offer it in emergencies. Well, it's, this is an emergency. There's going to be ships crashing and stuff. There's a guy who gives you a Pokemon in, on this island. I know there is. Is it this guy? I'm in shock. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon? Yeah. Thank you, take good care of it please. We've got a Pokemon. Now this is normally a Shucky, Shuckle called Shucky. However, it's going to be something else called Shucky. Come on, like Bulbasaur, like Mew, Mewtwo, something like that. Get out of town! Oh my god, it's a Garchomp! <laughs> That's decent! It's a Garchomp called Shucky. Never mind, we can get over that. It's fine. Dragon Rage, Sandstorm, Takedown, and Santoom. Yes, Garchomp! Just yes! Dragon and Ground. Careful about that, because I always forget it's got the ground type in as well. Oblivious prevents it from becoming infatuated. Meh, I'm bothered. What's its relaxed nature? Mm. So it's got good attack. Special attack's not great. So I'm looking for attacking moves for him, really. Dragon Rage is special. Take Down and Santum are both physical. And he's level 20, so I can actually start using him. Oh, what items he got as well? Berry Juice. Yeah, so he's good. That's a useful Pokemon to get. I'm not answering the phone to you, Ian. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want, but I am not interested. So what moves have we got that would be befitting a... Dragon ground type magnitude, that would be good. Outrage, is that a dragon type move? Yes. Power 120, accuracy 100. Rampage and attacks for two or three turns. However, it then becomes confused. You know what? I think that sounds pretty good. And it's probably physical, I'm guessing. Unable, not compatible, damn it. That's because of compatibility randomization. Oh, I can't learn that either. Goodness sake, man. About a drain punch. That could be good in a fighting type gym. SWAT can learn drain punch. Oh, you know what as well? Flying's, a f Flying's super effective against fighting. So if I can get him out front and get him some levels before we get to the gym leader, he might actually be useful. Use the counters the foe by mimicking the move last used by the foe. See, is that better than Drain Punch? You know what? I'm not going to learn that. We're going to stick it out. Okay, so, look, we're back to having a full team. It's good. Honestly, of all the things to get, Bloody Garchomp. That's such a good Pokemon. I feel like I had a Garchomp in a recent 
Pokemon run through that I was playing, but I can't remember where I got it from or what run through it was. In fact, did I catch one in this and then it die? Oh, I don't, I don't recall. So this bird's going to give us um, fly appropriately after we beat the gym leader. So let's uh, get in and see what we can do. He's so into his training, he doesn't seem to notice you. So he's meditating under a waterfall sort of thing, which is cool. So I've got to go and turn the... Yeah, there's like valves or something up here that I've got to turn. So... First things first. Let's get ready to battle. By switching Pokemon around. And if these have got fighting type Pokemon, then we're going to give Shatter go up front. We're also going to put Pory Pocket quite close up front. And we're going to put Shucky quite close up front as well. Here we go. We martial artists fear nothing. Better be fearing me, sunshine. Oh, he's like a pie. Ah, what's he got? Pidgey. Oh, it's a... I keep forgetting this thing's randomised. There's not going to be a single fighting type Pokemon in here. I'm making shit up. Well, that's alright. Peck's good. Feather Dance. No idea. Don't know what that does. Lower something. Attack. What, because there's feathers near me? Give me a break. Oh, in that case, let's get Pory Pocket out and give her a go. Now, this thing's level 27, which is quite high, which means the gym leader's probably going to have 30s and such. A bit scary. Go for Feather Dance. Attack harshly falls. We'll go for Sharpen. No, because we've not even got any physical moves, man. Might even have Sharpen on a Porygon. Whirlwind blows us away, and in comes someone a lot more useful, probably. Glaceon, perfect, because that's going to finish you off super, super, duper quick. Intimidate plus the attack. Doesn't really matter because Icy Wind is going to be enough to take this down in one. Oop, there it is. A bit of experience to go around, everybody. And Black Belt Zoe. Good fight, Black Belt Zoe. Right, next one. Wait, so... Oh, I'm confused. Is there actually anything to be done by going up this side? Because I can't get up there anyway, because that guy's going to block it off. So do I actually need to be going the other way? Uh, I'm guessing the answer is yes. However... Okay, so what? I need to... I should have battled that guy up there and then gone round, come round here to get up here, but we'll do it the other way. I'll get him to walk over here and then we'll walk round and go up. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. I'm going to fucking beat you! That's what my fist sounds like. It's true. Krogum uses Swagger. I really hate Krogum. He's such a fucking useless Pokemon. Raises my attack, however, confused. That's fine because Krogum's not going to do anything. Because it's crap. If I'm going to get myself in confusion, it's going to do nothing. Revenge, while well, I've not hit it, so. I can't do much of anything, can it? Oh, fuck off, Krogum! That's what you say, that's what you get for saying, Oh, Krogunk's not going to do nothing. Mm. twat -ot. You twat -ot, shat -ot. Porygon, I choose you. Porygon, you just kill this bitch. Swagger. Raises my attack. Makes me confused. Oh, it's frustrating that. Hurt yourself in confusion. Pursue. I'm not going anywhere. We're good. And I'm a normal type. Pursuit's not that effective. I'm confused again. Come on with the side beam now. Here we go. Fights through. Nice one. Pocket gains 444 experience. 
But well, Antoinette is about sending Stonky. Would you switch your Pokemon? No. Stonky is a poison type. Smokescreen lowers accuracy. Confused still, but pushes through it. Ah, but it doesn't affect. Maybe it's a dark type then. Let's get Shucky out there. In comes Shucky. Smoke screens. No interest in that. That was the accuracy, I don't really care. We're going to go for Dragon Rage because two of those is likely going to finish it off. 40 HP attack every attack, no matter what. Dragon Rage can be a killer early on in the game if you come up against it because it'll just kill everybody. Bye bye, Nuzlocke. Oh, nice one. Next one. This one will be the end of Stunky. If it hits, accuracy keeps going down, so it's not guaranteed. Frustrating. If we don't hit this time, we'll swap out because then we restart the accuracy. Misses. Right, so we're going with Mogger. Seems Mogger's someone I really want to get leveled up because I really want it to evolve. I don't know, maybe Mogger evolves with a water stone, thinking about it, which will be annoying. Because I don't know how to get my hands on one in this game. I don't know if this is a shot that sells them. But I will learn. Smoke screen, Mogger's accuracy falls, Metal Claw misses. Oh, accuracy already taking a hit. Goes for Slash. That doesn't do that much. Oh, come on, Mog. Do me a favour. Smoke screen, accuracy falls. Sir, you can't miss with that. It's a big shitload of water. There we go. Good XP for everyone. Back by Antoinette. Da, 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 da. I lost. I'm speechless. Ooh. Oh, just made it. Right, so now come up this way. Turn this knob. It's a large winch. Will you turn it? Yes, I shall. And lo and behold, there's the gym leader. Now, I don't want to leave. Oh, mind you, even if I leave, I've only got to go up and turn it again. At least we know that's how you get up there now. Nipping back off to the, to the Pokemon Centre so we can get some uh, healing. And then I might nip to Mart as well and stack up on potions. Just in a sec. Yo, who turned the tap off? It's alright, dude. We're coming down to you now. And we've been and had a good heal. I didn't go for the mark because I've got a shitload of super potions. Oh man, I've missed the steps. I guess we're taking this guy on then. Hopefully, oh, he's only got one Pokemon, so hopefully it's something easier. Bunny Because it's a bunny and it's got ears. So, Bunny Clever. Oh my god, Junk Kick. That is a, a fighting type move, and I'm a normal type Pokemon. That's actually super scary. Okay, I thought Bunny was going to be a walkover, and I was incorrect. So, how do we beat that? I'm thinking Shucky. Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. I don't know what that is, but I feel like it hits hard. Oh my days, what the fuck was that? Well, Berry Juice heals him a little bit. That's cool. Santum hits. Oh, that's absolutely dreadful, but at least it's now trapped in Santum, which means it's going to do some damage. What? I'm in trouble. No, I'm good. I'm good. Mogger's gonna go out there and kick ass because that's what Mogger does. That's what Mogger does! Frustration! Again. Oh, hold on. Don't know what that frustration move is. Surf. Frustration again. That 
is it locked into it? Oh man, I really could have done with that purely new. Dealing with another one of these frustrations. Glazed, let's get out of there. Like, you've literally just got to hit the thing with a tackle and it's down, I swear. Like, it's easy. This is an easy win for you. Goes for a quick attack this time. It's raining more than ever. Know that we still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. Hello. Boosted, boosted, boosted. Everyone gets some XP. Black Belt Alex is like, oh my god, I lost! Oh, back to the Pokemon Center, bye! <laughs> right, we're back in the gym, and do look at the sideburns on this guy. They make him look very strong. Oomph! The pounding waterfall right onto my head. Ah! Why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I'm a strong trainer. Training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. <laughs> Come on, we shall do battle. Stumped him. Oh, Dudley. Good name. Come on then, Dudley. Yeah, Kia! Pachirisu, you are electric ticker 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 ticker. Okay. Pachirisu. Let's side beam you and see how that goes. Discharge is fine. If this isn't going well, I can always put Mogger in, who has Volt Absorb, which means any electric type moves will actually heal Mogger. Which is good. Okay, that's not going to go so well, so. Mogger's my electric type hero. Because it's a water type Pokemon that can just absorb electricity. Puts us to sleep, because why not? Don't really care. Can wait it out, because all it's going to do is try and discharge at us. Oh, it must know, because it goes for Swift. Oh my god, and the critical hit as well. Confusion. Oh, it wasn't close to sleep, it was a confusion move. Well, this all just backfired all in all in one fago. Why, why did that Swift do so much damage? Was it critical? But that seems crazy to me that I just got Swifted down to like 20 HP from 62. Oh, soon find that. Swift again. Yes, it was uh, it was a critical. Didn't do anywhere near as much that time. So, Metal Claw. Swift again. Give me the... You just used Discharge a minute ago. Give it give it me again. Snaps out of Confusion. Hits with a Metal Claw. Not much damage because it's electric type. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know what to do with you. I mean, Kenya, who is not going to be affected by electric type moves, is good. Swift's a normal type, so that won't really hit it very hard either. And um, we're, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good with this. So, Rock Blast. Sweet kiss. It's gonna be confusion. There's some duckies. Shucky ducky quack quack. Oh, god damn, that's a ho horrible move. I hate confusion inducing moves. I even feel like a dick when I'm doing confusion moves, so I just don't teach any of them to my Pokemon. It only hits two times though. Now that sucks. Quick Claw activates, which means Rock Blast. Let's hit it five times. Five times. Oh. <sighs> this guy. Right, let's try Magnitude. Battery uses Swift. Critical hit, not very effective. Magnitude, magnitude 7. I'm ground, you're electric, so that's super effective. One more of them. And you've already used your... Oh, and he switches. What an absolute piece of shit. Bellossum is looking good. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Burb. Okay, we're back. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> Right, where was I? I was fighting this Belossum and I'm super duper weak against it, so let's not get into that shit. Let's get Glazed out here. We can use its icy wind. Finish this thing off. Oh, 
The sunlight is strong. That's fine, unless it goes for like a fire type move or like solar beam. It's not going to, because I'm going to finish it before it gets a chance. That's going to lower its speed. Ah, but it has got a berry. Citrus berry. Mm, I think we're still okay. Ah, oh, Sunspore, annoying. I think we're still okay, though. I think if we manage to hit it with the icy wind, we should be looking alright. Ah! That's the one. Oh, close. Magical Leaf again. We hold out. Icy Wind. Yeah, finishes it off. Nice one. Super effective. Next. We're back to that. Um, oh, what did she have first? He had first. I don't remember. Ah, Pachirisu. I do remember. I mean, I didn't remember. It just told me. So let's try Shucky because it's part ground type. So if it goes for any electric moves, that's not bothering us. Swift shouldn't bother us too much even though we're a lower level, and if we can hit it with Dragon Rage, it's going down because 40 HP every attack. Good night, sir. I think we've just got our next badge. Thanks, Dudley. Hmm, I lost. How about that? Alright, you're worthy of the Storm Badge. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da Nice one. Storm Badge lets your Pokemon fly to any city or town you've already been to. Take this too, TMO1, which is usually some, like, fighting type move. Focus Punch. But, not anymore, it's not, because it's random ice, it's Ice Punch, which, if I can teach that to Glaceon, would be amazing, but I can't. Kenya can. We'll think about that later. Right, well, let's get out of here. And this lady is going to give us fly, just because we're so fit. Thank you. I'm 10 years old. Stop trying to bribe me. You could fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. Sick. Aff. And, oh, I don't have a flying type Pokemon anymore, but I don't know. If HM compatibility is still randomised, it might be able to teach it to something random. Who knows? Nope. So I don't have a flyer, which is a bit annoying. Which means I need to catch a flying type Pokemon. As an Uzlop Pokemon. To be able to use fly. Which means I've got to surf back to um, Thingy Town. Thingy. Thingy Place. What's it called? Someone tell me what it's called. Olivine. Uh, let's just have a look what I've got. Not dead. Because I'm not using dead Pokemon for fly. Because I feel like that's wrong. And... Those Pokemon in the box are useless. They're not going to be any help. So we get healed. I can also get a fishing encounter in this town. Because I've got an encounter in the route 41. But then there's water in the town as well. So I can either surf on that or fish on it. And that's another encounter. And that might be a flying Pokemon. Who knows? Please come back again any time. Thanks. I will. So. I think this water up here is part of the town and not part of the route. Which means we can encounter on it, I think. Yeah, it's not changed to Route 41. So, that would seem to imply... Tentacle. I mean, that's kind of appropriate. That's what you would expect to be in the water around here, so... Uh, okay. I don't particularly like or want a tentacle, to be honest, but... It could be decent in certain situations. Good to have backup Pokemon as well. In case something happens where I lose like the majority of my team. At least I'll have something else I can bring out and train up. So that's not bad. Oh, wait, hang on. I've just destroyed it. Never mind. 
I didn't. I was too busy blabbering and thinking about it that I didn't realise it was confused, so it had hit itself. That's what just happened. Well, let's end that then. I don't have rock smash, so I can't smash them. All right. Well, let's just let's just get out of here. Let's get back to um, a thingy thingy in the town. And on that note, let's put a repel down as well because who can be bothered to fight random Pokemon on the way there when I can't even catch them anyway? That's not a repel wave. However, that is. And it should get us all the way back, to be fair, as well. With maybe a couple of battles, but I don't really want to. I'd rather skip if I can. She's going to turn as soon as I get her. Watch. Ooh! No, she's not. So. I've got a repel down! Oh, uh, it's because it's level 25, so it's... The repel keeps away Pokemon lower level than your first Pokemon. And I can't escape. Why can't I escape? Why are my first two Pokemon twitching? Come on, get away, get away, get away. There we go. Right, so to make sure we don't get into that again, let's put... Glazed out front. And we should be able to just make our leisurely way back to Olivine and hopefully get quick fire gym badges. Because we've just got one and I think we could just run straight into the gym and take it take it on. No. Top of the lighthouse. Then we can run straight into the gym and take it on. We definitely have got enough time for me to take on this gym. I don't know if this trainer's in the gym, though. That's a fair point. Now, this normally is a steel-type gym. Um, but ain't nobody got time for that. Da, 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 da. Repel wears off. That's cool. Who knows what type it is now. It could be anything. So, we shoot straight up here. Jasmine's right at the top. Kind of ominous music, but no need really. We're, it's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward task at this point. And we run the long way around. And here is Jasmine. Will that medicine cure Amphi? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. I am offended. I just went all the way to that fucking island to get that. Yay! The lighthouse is on again! Whoop whoop! Well done, Amphi. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you very much. I will return to the gym. And I will meet you there. Because it's time to get the next badge. I've got a good feeling about this. And we head south. Out of here. Then north up to the gym. Oh, we've got a phone call from Bob. Oh, Saint, this is Warden Bob. Sorry to have kept you waiting. We finally opened the Safari Zone. You know the gate inside the cavern in Seamwood City? No, I didn't see that. If you go through and walk for a short while, you should soon see the Safari Zone. We're a little out of the way, but please come visit. Well, I mean, that sounds like encounters to me, so we'll definitely go and do that at some point. But right now, the only thing I care about is getting to the gym and working out how to get to the gym. And it's not going to be that way. There we go. Missed the door there. Right, is Mr. Gym Guy here? Yes, he is. What up, dog? Jasmine uses steel type Pokemon. Not anymore, she doesn't. So I've got to take on this guy. Or have I? I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the gym leader, but a battle is a separate matter. Go for it. Thanks. Oh, they don't, they don't want to battle me. I know I'll keep you off from the lighthouse. It's time you should the side of Jasmine to yourself. Good luck. Okay. Uh, so what do I go out with to start? Let's go with Shucky. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll go with Shooky, and we can switch back out in battle if we need to, but it'd be good to get him some experience either way. This is different. Allow me to introduce myself. Blah, 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 Jasmine. Blah, 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 Clang. Blah, 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 Steel type. Blah, 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 Close shot. Really hard. Blah, 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 Strong. Well, let's go. And your real name is Robin. So, gym leader Robin is about to send out... Lady Bar. Definitely not Steel type. And uh, Shucky's all over that. Let's go with... You know what? I think a couple of Dragon Rages should be enough. I doubt it's got more than 80 HP. And it's not even evolved. Yeah, there we go. It's probably got in the 70s, I would thought. Speed Sharply Razors. That's fine. You can go faster. Silver Wind don't bug me either. Bug type move. Do you get it? I'm funny. And down with the Dragon Rage. So that's one down. Come on, make this an easy gym. Shucky gets level 21. Next we have Primplup. 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 Water type. Uh, um, let's get Mogger out there. It evolves to be water steel, but it's only water type at the minute. Uh, so I'm going to use steel against you. Bubble. Right, so that's not very effective. That did some decent damage. It's quite a high level though, 30, so fair enough. Metal Claws, no good. Right. Scrap that idea. That wasn't a good one anyway. Kenya, I can't send out because it's water type. Ugh, it's going to have to be glazed, but. Bite, quick attack, icy wind. Yeah, maybe bite might have to be where we go with that. Intimidate cuts. Yeah. That's fine. Bubble Beam. That's fine as well. Get out of it, get out of it, get out of it. There we go. Right. Blight. You just bide. Oh, dear. Okay, so now I've got to be careful. So I don't damage it until it's finished with its bide, otherwise it's going to destroy me. What I can do is set it up with some sand attacks to lower its accuracy. There we go. Super Potion on Glaze. And then we keep going with the Bite. Oh, the tactics on display here. Not very often I get to actually use decent tactics. Normally it's just smash. And it still manages to hit despite the sand attacks. Second I get a second I get hit with the sand attack, that's it's just I can't hit anything. Bye. Flinches, good. Let's have another flinch. Come on, two in a row. No, nope, bubble beam and it hits. So frustrating. Oh my days. Oh I nearly looked away then because I just didn't want to see it keep going down. This thing is a monster. I don't know the best. I don't know how to go about this. Oh, it has metal claw already though, and it misses. At least something misses. Right, go through the bubble beam. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my days, that is hard, man. Brine. That's not too bad. If I keep grinding that, oh mind you, it's gonna. She's gonna use a. She's going to use a full restore. She's definitely going to use a full restore. So I need to hit it with something that's going to do all of that damage in one go. Because otherwise she is going to use a full restore. Jesus. Try cut. I'm not. I'm not um, optimistic about it. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Oh no! I cannot lose Mogger right now. 
That's the main thing I'm thinking at the minute, is that is not something that's going to happen. And there's the Hyper Potion. Right. Right, let's, let's take a second to think about this. Agility, Psybeam, Recover, Sharpen. Roll out, Rock Bass, Ancient Power, Magnitude. Cut, Brine, Surf, Metal Claw. Bite, Sand Attack, Quick Attack, Icy Wind. I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is right now. Maybe Dragon Rage? Oh, but it's part ground type, so the second it goes for a water move, I'm absolutely toast. This is a, a real conundrum. Right, don't go for Bubble Beam first turn. Bite. That... That's perfect. Right, okay, so here's the situation. I hit it with Dragon Rage now. If it's got less than 40 HP, it's going down. I think it has. But if I miss... Oh, no, it unleashes before I manage to hit. Oh, no, Shucky. No, no, no. Shucky Ducky quack dead. Oh, that's dreadful. Oh, can't believe it. Garchomp is toast. Right, where do we go from here? Mogger, I suppose. Bubble Beam's a hard one. I don't like it. I don't like it. How how can that be so strong? I'm a water type. That's my Honestly, my special defense and special attack must absolutely suck. I hope it runs out of Bubble Beam soon. I'm sick to the back teeth of it. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> this was close. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. <laughs> right, one more Super Potion and another cut and we're good. Can't believe that thing outsped, man. Flipping Garchomp. Nuts. Finally, it misses an attack with its Bubble Beam. It's not long enough. And it misses again. There we go. Look, starting to come in now. Cut. Hallelujah. Praise Arceus. Gastrodon. You sound like a steel type. Oh no. You don't look like a steel type. You look like something weird, and I don't know what, which is worrying. Mud bomb. Ground then. Oh my god, no! <gasps> Mogger, I'm sorry. Fucking mud bomb! From full health as well. Craziness. I don't know how to beat this thing. I don't know what even even know what it is. Mud bomb again. Oh my god, that's super effective. This is it. This is the end of the lock. This is it. I'm dying. I can't believe it. This is this is where the series ends. Oh my god. Is this the last episode? Please no. I like this game. Uh, body slam. 
Oh, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't even have any more potions. I've got fresh water, but... Choose that as well. How do I get the best of this thing? That mud bomb's scary. I don't like it. Oh, it's a powerful one. Accuracy falls as well, man. <sighs> Hidden power. Oh, what what type's that going to turn out to be? Something super effective. Come on, please let this finish it off, because I've got no chance otherwise. This is... over. I can't beat it. I'm out of potions. No point recovering from the paralyzed because I'm speechless. I don't just don't know what to say. This isn't good commentary, but Let's see if Polly Pocket can save us. I'm not restarting this. I've already used my revive. If I lose, I lose. And that's the end. And I'll be upset, but... Ah, oh, that's it. What is that hidden power coming out at? Because it's super effective against fucking everything. Well, you know what? It was fun while it lasted. But... Looks like this is going to be the end. It's official. It's a blackout. Not only have we blacked out, we've already blacked out once this series, so... I can't, in all... Even if I went on to beat the Elite Four now, I can't, I wouldn't. I've not won the Nuzlocke, you know, I, st I still will have lost, so it it just makes no difference. I'm a loser. Two Nuzlocke's, heart gold Nuzlocke, I couldn't even get the fifth gym badge, and now, or sixth gym badge this would have been, and and then the brown Nuzlocke, I, I lost on the last Pokemon of the Elite Four. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a Pokemon master like I thought. You know, it's gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna really have to take some time away and think about. Think about my future as a Pokemon master. However, I do have two Pokemon left, and uh, one of them came from an egg, and it's Minty the Corsola. So Minty, you're gonna. Um, you're gonna come into my uh, team now. We're not going to... I'm not, I'm not carrying on. It's just... I feel like I should have a Pokemon in my team. Because I need to put all of the dead Pokemon in my dead box. So here's everybody that's died uh, this this series. Here's, here's what we've wasted. Oh, man. I can't even... I can't even press the right buttons. Yeah. So, uh... Here's who we've wasted. Hannah the Hippopotamus. Sorry, Hannah. C dot, you're gone. Wanda the Clefairy, you've gone. Oh, they, that was our first Mog's World. C dot, it was a starter. Yeah. Dragonair, Pimp could have done so much better. Mer Merc Russell Crow, I'm sorry. Slash the Kaboo Tops, you were good. Marry the Shock Sheep, you were, you weren't around for long. Dumbo the Fampy, I'm sorry. Shaman, didn't even last an episode. Shatot, Down in a Blaze of Glory. Garchomp, destroyed by Jasmine. Glaceon, destroyed by Jasmine. Monkswall, destroyed by Jasmine. Porygon, destroyed by Jasmine. Golem, destroyed by Jasmine. Well, there we go. Thank you all very much for watching this season of the Pokemon Those Lock. And I'm going to be back, man. I'm going to come back. And the next, the, the next one, the next one, I am going to fucking win it. Excuse my language. Don't even excuse my language. No, that was that was there purposely to punctuate that sentence. 
because I am serious. I am going to fucking win the next one. Fucking win it. So from me and my only remaining Pokemon, Minty, I will bid you all farewell. And uh, I will see you all probably on stream at some point before I see you in another Pokemon episode. But I will see you all in another episode very, very soon. Peace. Thank you.